Hello everybody, it's Whiskey11, and welcome back to the Gaming Lounge, and it is time for yet another episode in our Silent Hunter for Let's Play. And where we left off, uh, we we are on our first patrol of the USS Gato, and, um, well, we've been sent on quite the impressive mission. We got sent to uh, Rabal to photograph some carriers that are in harbor at the moment, and just trying to game plan as much of it as we can before we get knee deep in it. Now, the two carriers that are in Rabal at the moment are Taiho and Shokaku. Both of those carriers are extremely high valuable targets that I would like to throw some torpedoes at. Um, they say we're supposed to take pictures, but quite honestly, I am all about uh, disobeying orders, especially since Shikaku herself is roughly 30,000 tons and Taiho is 35,000 tons. I've already sank Taiho once in this, uh, in this Let's Play. Uh, way earlier than the ship should be. It's still way too early for this ship to exist in-game, but uh, it, it's a high-value target. So we need to sink it. Shikaku, also high-value target. Problem. The problem is, is there are two destroyers that we can already see uh, just being in-game right now. Also problem, there is at least one destroyer by said carrier. So, we have, definitely have some issues. I think we can sneak in on the southern approaches. I don't know if we will be able to see both uh, ships there like that. The problem that we run into is there's a fishing boat that runs to the south as well. Um... He's uber annoying. But we have the advantage of it is nighttime. Unfortunately, it is nighttime in a fairly well lit night. I can't find the moon because apparently the moon is not up yet. But uh, the moon will be up, and we got to be extra careful with that. So if we follow the southern route in, we'll just kind of we'll just kind of see here if we can. Uh, <clears throat> maybe hopefully see these two ships oh that's island gotta keep coming this way now you can vaguely see where the shoreline is at even though it hasn't rendered in yet okay so there's one of our destroyer escorts here and so from here I can see Taiho so we, we really, in order to get torpedo attacks off on both, we effectively have to be where this guy's at now, which means we have to crest the... Uh, we, we have to... We, uh, ay, 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 ay. We're going to have to get close. <clears throat> I don't remember how deep this area is in this game. Um, I know the waters where we're currently at are very deep <clears throat> which is nothing short of a blessing but uh we definitely have some work to do so let's uh let's get on with this we're gonna we're gonna carry on the surface for as long as i dare yes sir okay So with him being spotted, um, that's a good time for us to get the heck underwater. <laughs> oh, look at how deep he goes. Oh, you've got to be f***ing me right now. <clears throat> Jeez, um... So we're going to kind of observe these destroyer paths. I'm hoping that's just a convoy. I'm hoping that's a convoy escort and they'll just disappear. That's the other part that sucks about this. Because there's only so much you can effectively do to deal with uh, this shenaniganry. Because the game just... As ships come into into harbor, they will uh, they will do things. 
They, like, disappear or try and depth charge you to death because they're jerk faces. So let's, uh... Over a thousand feet. Don't threaten me with a good time. Set depth 2,000 feet, or 200 feet. 2,000 feet. Ha! <laughs> yep, we'll get there, all right. And we will get there and promptly die. It is quite impressive how well the uh, the various fleet boats can uh, dive below their crush depth. And by crush depth, really what we mean is test depth. The, uh, the red line here is the test depth. The crush depth is actually significantly below that. What it means is the further you go below that test depth, the chances of you taking damage are significantly higher. Um, so we'll just... Uh, we'll just carry on here. I don't know why that, why you didn't rig us for silent running already. Still not rigged for silent running. <laughs> Do not make me reload this. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna reload this because uh, apparently the game does not want to recognize a very important and crucial command. That's a uh, rig for silent running. <laughs> it's kind of hard to be a submarine without being able to issue said command. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do our best here. Yeah, rig it. Let's go. Uh, okay. Let's go. Go see. Okay, so I think we're finally at. Uh, I think this destroy this destroyer mark is actually a. Uh, So we're we're just kind of yeah. So to me, it looks like the destroyers make this this pass from up here to down here, and then they go from here to there. And then they kind of disappear off into, into the nether up in this region. So they don't quite come out this way. They, they kind of do this. Merchants closing, bearing five, six, long range. This is like the most, this is the most tense I've ever been playing this game. Because I know how ridiculously overpowered destroyers can be at times. And I'm not looking forward to that insanity. God, we have to be so far out in there. The upside is, is we can launch... Oop, there's, there was some rocks there, so... Um, I mean, the upside is, is we we have pretty good shots at both these, these uh, fine, upstanding aircraft carriers. The destroyer that uh, is escorting them is... Uh, you know, he is what he is. He's he's just kind of running circles around him at this point. It would be nice to be able to see them, but... Uh, again, we've got to be below that thermal layer. But it's so hard to know. Okay. Just kill the, kill the engines! So that was the 
There's it appears that there's like two paths that they take. And this guy's coming south. And he's headed up north. Okay, so <laughs> be close enough to see them visually yet <laughs> I just want to be able to pop up oh, okay so we know 9,000 yards that is the furthest that we can shoot from and hit Taiho <coughs> but I'm pretty sure the other ship is uh further to the left to the left to the left <laughs> we can actually see taiho from where we're at but yeah shikaku is far enough back that uh, in order for us to get a good visual representation of where she's at we're gonna have to be pretty far off this point <coughs> excuse me Okay, so with that in mind, let's try and guesstimate their their locations on the map based upon terrain. Looks like uh, Taiho is on the north is roughly that direction. They're not too far from each other. And it looks like they're both just off the point there. So one is down here. And the other is here. It looks like. Uh. What's the issue? There's definitely the, the port is definitely getting shallower. Uh, but I don't know what uh Yes sir. Yes sir. We can bring it up just to try and uh So apparently the issue is depth. So where we can visually see the, the floor apparently is not where the floor is actually at because that's where the floor appears to be. And we are plenty far enough away from it that uh, it shouldn't be an issue. So the the, sub, the the sea floor is coming up kind of quick apparently, and it thinks I'm gonna hit it. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it's not. It's trying to tell me that I'm too close to the bottom. The other part that's interesting about this is apparently Rabal does not have uh, torpedo nets, which seems a bit weird to me, but I mean, you, you do what you can. <laughs> What? 
We're not that close to the water, to the bottom. Stop being buggy. Gosh. I don't want to keep raising up because, uh... The only other thing that it could be is, uh... <clears throat> sonar tracks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's, uh, where's my radar mast at? We want to lower it because it's currently up. We don't want it to be up. That's the sonar. <laughs> it is once again trying to tell me that I'm close to the bottom of the ocean, but, uh, According to this, I'm not that close, so uh, figure your proverbial shit out. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. See, we're not that close. I mean, we're getting close enough to where that destroyer yes, is like right on top of us. Yes, sir. And we need to be uber quiet so we can see Taiho, but we cannot see Shikaku. <clears throat> so we've killed the engines because we've got a destroyer that's fairly, fairly close, but he's going to be... All sorts of up in our business here in a minute. And it doesn't help that the game is not letting me time compress any further because it thinks that we're too close to a, an ocean floor that we're not too close to. Huh. <sighs> If there was only one, if there was only one destroyer guarding the entrance to this, I would have no problems like poking a destroyer, and then uh, leaving and coming back a different way. But uh, we we also don't have the torpedo to do it. We don't have the Mark eighteen electric torpedo. We don't have the Mark twenty seven cutie. We have none of that. So we we kind of get stuck with what we get stuck with, unfortunately. That's a... Yeah. That's the destroyer that's behind us. <laughs> I love the hydrophones in this game. I, I just love the little attention to detail that they bring to it. You know, that's one of the coolest, coolest features that you can get. Actually, that was not the dude that was behind us. That's that dude up there. <clears throat> I don't know that we can actually hear the dude that's behind us. That's the other guy again. There shouldn't be anything prohibiting us from hearing him, aside from a masking on the uh, the actual hydrophones. Yeah, he's he's just he's he's masked by our uh, 
by the the rest of our ship because our hydrophones are mounted right there. So our hydrophones are mounted here, and you can see the ship our ship is blocking it, blocking the signal from finding him. I mean, we we are thankfully uh, you know sitting dead in this water, but uh, you know he's it's a destroyer. And destroyers in this game have some absolute insane tendencies. And I don't think we can sneak in through the northern passages any easier. Um, it would certainly allow us to see the ships better, but uh, I don't believe that we would be able to effectively uh, get in, launch our torpedoes, and get out. And again, we are, because we're above that thermal layer, we're full stop praying that this dude just goes past us. That's what the hope is. Because once it goes past us, we can do our mission. Hopefully we can get back into some deeper water and then sneak back out. <clears throat> God, he's moving so slow. I don't even know that a, a, a Mark 27 would actually find him. He's not making enough noise in the water. See, she's just got tr tr conventional depth charge racks. This is the other part that sucks about destroyers, is that especially in harbor, <clears throat> they have a tendency to do this like start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. <clears throat> and when they do that, it's really, really difficult to get an accurate fire solution on them. And then on top of that, with steam torpedoes, <clears throat> they have a tendency to want to avoid those, and they accelerate unfairly fast. <clears throat> just going to keep creeping along the edge here and praying that he just sails right on past us. We're not making any noise. What, screws aren't turning? We're at silent running. <coughs> Man, the corona apparently is bad today. <laughs> I don't actually have coronavirus. They just, just joking. He takes so long to go. <laughs> just... I wish he would take this long to proceed through the rest of his little patrol course. What are you doing? Dear damage control party, cease and assist. Stop it. <laughs> don't make me try and find a place to put you. I don't know where I would put you, but I would put you somewhere. Also, why is Ho isn't Hogan's Alley the like me like the mess room in this game? Like like just a, a place for people to go and rest. Like, how do these dudes have any fatigue at all? It makes no sense. Our main deck crew is up here. We're underwater, so they ain't doing anything. I think if we can sneak past him. Yeah, so we can see Taiho, but we can't see Shikaku. So I think we what we might do, if we can time it right, is if we can stay on this edge here, we might be able to launch a fore and aft torpedo tube attack at the same time. Um, obviously, we've got a lot of things to get to accomplish before that happens, but... Uh, We might get lucky, or we might die. I mean, that's always a possibility, too. In which case, I'm just going to get super aggressive. We'll sail up to the northern part, get a fire solution on a destroyer, attempt to sink the destroyer, hope that they get distracted long enough for us to, to do our mission, and then, uh... <laughs> and then carry about our day, apparently. I'm 
not making any noise, go away. You can see the other destroyer now. Except for I think he's on the part of his patrol path that he, uh, he turns early. Are you? Contact, warship, closing, bearing. You, oh my god, I hate how broken these fucking bastards are. We're not making any noise. None, zero, zilch, nada. Yes, sir. Ahead, flank. Hard to starboard. Nah. We're we're dead. I mean, there's. There's there's effectively no way around this at this yes, point sir. in time. I mean, he's Unless we can get him to to yes, glitch out. Runner. Yes, sir. I mean, I I just don't see how we 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 accomplish our goal <laughs> at this point. I mean, now would be one of those times that if I could get a torpedo up to him, he's still too close for us to actually do that to. But, uh... Yes, sir. Ahead one third. I mean, I'm, I'm legit surprised that we survived this first one. Again, the only thing that I think that we could hope to do is this game does have a, a glitch where if we can get them to tr attempt to run aground, they will just get into this, like, backup, speed-up cycle... He's like straight dead. This is in the way.
I think the only thing that is saving us is the fact that uh, is the fact that we're so close to the bottom of the ocean that he can't effectively uh, Fuck him. I don't know if it'll hit. Don't need to eat a water. <laughs> Gonna go with no. <laughs> need a significant bit more right attenuation. Oh, Buddy is here. That's great. Um. Where am I? I am here. There's no way that that torpedo... Holy hell. Too much. <laughs> I mean, at this point, we're, we're entirely defensive, right? So, F these dudes. If I can if I can get a hit on one, I'm going to fucking do it. I don't think we're going to get lucky, but I'm willing to try because our options are either kill Oh, he's Oh my. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get lucky with his buddy get catching the back one. That would be freaking awesome. He must have depth charged himself. Oh my... <gasps> what are the odds? 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that just happened. Okay. Alright, so, um... We blew up one of them, because he sank himself with depth charges, I think is actually what legitimately happened. This one was a good one to get rid of. He's got the freaking head... Jesus, dudes. Where did we hit him? Oh, a midship, right at the freaking torpedoes. <laughs> Dude, this is this is awesome. Okay, if he sinks, that will be huge. Oh my goodness. We're gonna save. We're gonna we're gonna save. I am this paranoid. We are going to save twice. We're gonna leave one of our three saves. Um to be, you know, something else. Somehow we've managed to successfully pull off this portion of it. I don't know if he's going to sink from that one torpedo. I would hope so. I'm surprised that he didn't detonate. But we we got lucky with this hit. I'm not going to count my... Uh, I'm not going to... not going to attempt to poo-poo myself here too much. Uh, we are going to count our blessings. Um, I don't want to... I'm not going to tempt fate by pulling back from silent running we do have some issues need to see what our fellow friends over here are accomplishing at this point in time because we have to we cannot forget that there is a destroyer often over here somewhere or maybe he sank himself no he's over here He's over here, and he is not interested in coming to play. In fact, it looks like he's actually on fire, but 
he's not interested in coming to play. You just you just hang out over there, homie. Um, I'm gonna take care of your buddies over here though, uh, and and pray 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 that uh, we can accomplish our mission objectives yet. So we just sank a ducky. U.S. fighter aircraft have intercepted Admiral Yamamoto's plane over Bougainville and shot it down, killing the Japanese Admiral. That's good news. So we are over here. He is there. He is looking like uh, the front end seems to be getting a little low in the water there, buddy. <laughs> These are the kinds of success stories that just don't happen in this game, okay? <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit that. Oh, hello. You know, take us to periscope depth. I'm. I think that's actually the uh, Teretsuki. Make. Yeah, that that's her. So she's sitting on the bottom of the ocean. That's her making that noise. It's a great place for her to be. I think she ended up depth charging herself, I think is what what happened. When she dropped those depth charges, she was close enough to them that she ended up uh, doing the deed to herself. I am not going to complain. Oh. 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 So she's coming around. Let's turn off silent running. Let's get some, torpe yes, sir. some uh, torpedoes loaded just in case this guy decides to come and try and play. Uh, operating on one screw only, though, so. Torpedo missed, sir. Torpedo impact. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Torpedo impact? Oh. Uh. Uh oh. She's getting low in the water, so we'll uh, we'll count our lucky stars. We got uh, exceptionally lucky. <clears throat> sink, 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 sink. We're not gonna get this opportunity ever again. I, I just un until we get electric torpedoes, which God knows when they when they become a thing. We're never going to get this ever again. Mark 18, tor torpedo, introduction date. So for those who don't know, the Mark, the Mark 18 is actually a copied German G7E torpedo. Um, it was introduced in 1943. All right. So deployment. Mushmorton's Wahoo in September of 43. So we get we got a long ways to go. However, Mark 14 successfully taking off the bow of a Japanese destroyer. Um, we'll just keep praying for some sinkage. Because once she goes down, the only ship that's left that's a th real threat is the... Uh, um, the one that's in the the, the harbor, uh, he Four doesn't. Ships. Constant distance, bearing one one six. Long range. Oh shit! Really? Bearing one one six. Yeah. That I'm I'm hoping that that is a convoy destroyer and is not interested in joining in this little charade that we have going on here. What's interesting is. U.S. Hydrophone technology actually nearly matched their surface radar search capability. Part of that has to do with the um, with the height at which the radar mast was able to operate, and then the power output that could be put out by a radar mast on a uh, destroyer. Because if you remember, the radar mast on these destroyers isn't exactly huge. Um, looks like we have it retracted currently, but that's it right there that's the air search radar and the surface search radar is right there and so neither one of those are particularly um <clears throat> high <laughs> the radar mass can go up i don't think the surface search radar can she's gonna sink she's gonna sink 
She's gonna sink. It's gonna be great. <clears throat> Your forward gun mount is almost completely underwater. Like, it would be leaking in water through th around the rings at this point in time. So, homeboy is actually... Is this dude, like, patrolling, or what's his story? Whoever he is, I legitimately hope that we are able to get our torpedo tubes reloaded before he comes into play. It'd be nice if this other torpedo... If this other... Oh, torpedo tube 7 is loaded. You're going under... <laughs> If nothing else, she's she's not going to be a threat, which is the most important part of this. So even if we don't get kill credit for her, she's not a threat. She can't move anymore. Uh, we're going to get kill credit for her. I'm fairly confident on that part, even if the bow touches the bottom. Um, but yeah, she, she's, she's not going anywhere anytime soon. That Mark 14 did some work. I'm glad. It's very rare to hit a, an enemy destroyer <clears throat> with a Mark 14. I'm glad that we missed that torpedo. <laughs> and I'm glad that this one was dumb enough to actually hit it. I don't even understand how he's able to successfully continue pinging. Yep, we got kill credit for it. Yes, yes we are. Is that what I think it is? That's a fishing trawler. All right. Huh. So with with the um, most stressful day of my life now at uh, some level of completion, let's uh, find our mission objectives and GTFO. What? That's straight ahead. Ah! I was like, wait a minute. So we have an icon that pops up. It might periscope photo. Game crashed! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, we're going to have to pick this one up here in a second. All right, and with that crash, I guess we'll go ahead and call it here for this Let's Play episode. You guys know the drill by now. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.